Hello everyone, welcome to this day. It's Thursday and it's February 10th. And on, we have one meeting to tell you about today and that is this morning at 9.30. And that will be virtual and it is the United Landscape Committee meeting and it will be at lagunawoodsvillage.com forward slash meetings. Now on our show today, we have Pat and Robert Mycone who are here on behalf of the Republican Club but they have to talk to us about something that is really nonpartisan, and it is uh, something for everyone, in, especially your grandchildren, if you have grandchildren uh, here in uh, the village or here in Laguna Woods. Uh, also, we have Robert Mycone, so it's the Mycone half hour, and uh, he's gonna talk to us about the Bridge Club. They have a very important event that's coming up this weekend, and he wants to tell us all about it. All right, let's take a look at our weather. It is going to be a hot one today. So I already felt it got outside this morning. Pretty warm. So today we are looking at 86.62. Tomorrow also hot, 88.55. Then we're going to have a little bit of a cool down on Saturday, 80.54. And then, of course, we have the big game on Sunday, 80.57. And then happy Valentine's Day on Monday with a pleasant 73.54. We have our sunrise was at 6.40 this morning and our sunset will be at 5.31. Debbie Dotson, thank you for sending in this gorgeous photo of our beautiful ocean right here uh, in Laguna, actually, in Laguna Beach. And uh, we appreciate you sending that in. If you have a photo you would like to share with our community, please email it to lagunawoodsvillagetv at gmail.com. And we welcome just about anything that you would like to share with us, of course, right here in the village or someplace that you have visited. Uh, it's getting warmer these days, so if you've got a great shot of some of those really nice sunsets, send it on over. All right, when we come back, we will have Pat and Robert Mycone, so stick around. Get out and live your life with the Buzz Around XL Travel Scooter from Golden. The Buzz Around is fun to drive with a tight indoor turning radius so you can go just about anywhere. It's also so easy to charge and offers all day range so you can go further. The Buzz Around even has more leg and foot room for all day driving comfort. Be safe with the XL's ultra bright LED headlight. Plus the Buzz Around XL can be easily taken apart into several lightweight pieces. See for yourself just how easy and affordable mobility freedom can be. Primary care is our first interaction with the healthcare system, but most people don't visit their physicians due to long lines, waiting periods, and moving from lab to lab. At Cure Medical, we bring healthcare straight to your doorstep. Our modern upscale mobile clinics provide services such as prevention and wellness plans, annual exams, lab work, blood tests, and more. Give us a call today to learn more and schedule your next appointment. Cure Medical, close to home, far from ordinary. What sets Made Pro apart from other cleaning companies? Well, for starters, we're pros. So we're pro scrubbing, dusting, shining. We're pro kid and pet friendly. We're pro doing things your way, like not touching your messy desk. We're pro neat freak. We're pro affordable and pro Monday afternoons because that time was just right for you. In short, Made Pro is pro you. Made Pro, because your standards aren't standard. Did you know there are over 400,000 seniors in Orange County today? So where does a senior or family caregiver go for information and resources? You can turn to the Answers Guide, published by the Council on Aging Southern California. Answers is full of articles and resources to help you navigate the aging experience. You can pick up your free copy today at the clubhouse nearest you or at the Social Services Office. The Council on Aging, helping seniors remain healthy, connected, and protected. At Norm Reeves Honda Superstore Irvine, we want to buy your car. It's as easy as one, two, three. One, we come to you. On-site professional appraisals now available at your home or office. Two, you come to our dealership just minutes away for an on-the-spot appraisal. Three, value your car online at normreevesshondairvine.com. It's your choice. Plus, you get paid in one day or less. At Norm Reeves Honda Superstore in the Irvine Auto Center, we will buy your car. Welcome 
Welcome back. Well, today, as I mentioned, we have the MyCone Half Hour. We've got Pat and Robert here on behalf of the Republican Club. Well, welcome both of you. It's nice to see you. I haven't seen you in a while. I know. It's before Christmas. And you, I've seen you a little too much lately, actually, yes. Robert. I, I think you're really exhausting your, your TV My welcome. time. Yeah. <laughs> but nonetheless, thank you so much for coming in. Now, of course, I know we have... Um, something on the, that we're trying to get on the ballot yes. for November, and we'll yes. talk about that in just a minute, but okay. would you do me a favor and just give me sort of an overview of the Republican Club? Yes, the Republican Club has been around for about 40, 50 years. We are um, a club that wants to support uh, freedom, uh, low taxes, small government, freedom of pe individuals versus you know the government, mm -hmm. and we want to reach out and, you know, uh, 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 have as many people vote um, right. Republican as possible so we can have the policies in place mm -hmm. that will help support prosperity, freedom and prosperity. Okay, well excellent. Um, thank you for that information. Now speaking of you know freedom and choice and things mm -hmm. like that, you've got something that you want to get on the ballot but it doesn't yes. necessarily matter whether you are Republican, Democrat or Independent. It's something that really will apply to all children. Can you give me sort of an overview of it? Yes, Lisa. Well, I'm, I've, I've asked my husband, Robert Mycomb, to come and talk about this issue. Um, he has been one of the founders of the California um, Policy Cent Public Policy Center. Okay. And they are a nonpartisan think tank. And over the last 15 years, their signature issue has been school choice. Okay. So I'd like to have Robert speak to that. That sounds good. Now, now Robert, first of all, mm -hmm. how come you were involved in this way back when? Well, when we founded the California Policy Center, the idea was to put together a nonpartisan think tank that would be equally accessible or interesting to uh, Republicans, Democrats, and independents. Okay. And in fact, it has worked out that way because better education for children is a nonpartisan issue. Mm -hmm. For some reason, California has always been, in the last 20 years anyway, has been in the bottom 10% of effectiveness, of educational effectiveness for students. Yeah, there's a lot of reasons for that. It's a big, diverse state. There's a lot of uh, poor areas, a lot of wealthy areas, private schools. It's got the whole gamut. But on balance, it's really surprising, considering the amount of resources that go into the public school system, that right. the educational output or the achievement of the students would be so low. Mm -hmm. So we organized about, it was about 2010, we organized the California Policy Center, and the first signature issue we took on was independent school choice. It wasn't called school choice at that time. It actually, the, the vehicle that allowed us to, to formulate the center and become a 501c3 and solicit donations and to begin to move and write policy statements and do interviews just like this, mm -hmm. uh, was the charter school movement. Yeah. Um, in Los Angeles County back in the 90s, parents got fed up that the schools were lousy. I think they're still lousy today in <laughs> LA. But LA uh, in 2010 had about 50 charter schools. Orange County had three or four. Mm -hmm. Well, we took the charter school movement and actually in 2010 to when COVID hit in 2020, that number of three or four went to 36 charter schools, either operating or um, at, you know, active or, or promote or ready to go. Okay. So what's a charter school? The first thing to recognize is a charter school is a public school. Mm -hmm. It's a public school. It's paid for with public funds. So if you and I decided to make a, a, true, a school where we'd focus for K through 12 on American history, we could promote that as a charter, mm -hmm. the American history school, we could call it. We could mm -hmm. call it the Orange County version of the American mm -hmm. history school. Mm -hmm. And if that was approved by the Board of Supervisors, then we would have our own school. We'd hire our own teachers and we'd be given money by the state to do that. Right. What's the catch? We'd have to, uh, uh, we have a limited amount of money from the state and we have to obey our charter. We can't change our charter without an act of Congress, so to speak. Gotcha. Well, the charter school movement was very popular, but the charter school didn't really change things very much because if you had, what is it, 3,000 schools in California, the, the, the 150 of them became charter schools. Mm -hmm. The curricula was a little different in the schools, but in fact, the problem was the same. The charter schools did better on their chosen subjects, but across the board, when you measured across the board, it was minimal impact. Right. Okay. So that's where the charters, that's the history, the gestation of the school choice movement okay. now. So if you, if you look at today, what are we dealing with in terms of choice or mm -hmm. there's boundaries? I know there's a lot of things that go into play as to where your children go to school. Yeah, the rules of the state, of a state controlled system, the Board of Ed, the, the Department of Education, are that if you live in a particular geographic area, you have to go to a particular school. Mm -hmm. 
This can be a problem for parents. For example, in 1988, we moved to Cota de Casa so we could join the golf club and help my son, who was a double state golf, double state oh. golf champ, advance his golf career. Mm -hmm. But my daughter, who was a couple years older, didn't want to leave El Toro High School. So we had to get an act of Congress. We had to fill out forms in triplicate, wait three months, beg and plead at school board meetings. Well, in the charter school or a school choice movement, all we had to do is said, I choose this school. So that was quite a damaging experience. In fact, the only reason our daughter was able to stay at El Toro High School was that the principal called up the state, the, the Board of Education, and said, this kid is too valuable to me. She's the editor of the school uh, newspaper, and what was she? She was on the tennis team. She was MVP okay. of the tennis, things like that. Okay. So, the complication is that, I'll get to school choice in a minute and the geographical component of it. Um, but let's look at what the school system is now. The school system is composed of teachers and uh, students, mm -hmm. and it's composed of the, the, school, the teachers unions and the administrators. Mm -hmm. And all four of those groups have divergent viewpoints. Teachers want to teach the students, and the students want to learn and have a little fun, maybe too much fun. But the teachers unions are not there for the students, they're there for the teachers. Mm -hmm. Now while that sounds good on the surface, that's a, that's a split loyalty because now the teacher doesn't know whether to obey the union rules or whether they're supposed to teach the student according to the right amount of, uh, the, you know, the right amount of discipline and the right curriculum content. Mm -hmm. um, the administrators have actually been hired to make sure that all this stuff plays together and follows the government. They're almost like a compliance department for the federal government on what was supposed to be a local issue, which is how to run a school. Right. So why, why are local issues important? Um, schools were organized in this country but by local people. It's no longer the case. Mm. The, the, the policies and procedures come from the federal government, the uh, money comes from the state government, and the amount of wiggle room they have in the curriculum is very small. So this is where the school choice uh, comes in. Right. There was a major election in Virginia where the ex-governor of Virginia said that the parents had no right to, tell, to teach their students. Parents had no rights in the teaching of their students. Mm -hmm. Well, he got thrown out of office and a new guy came in. Right. It was a serious issue. Um, in fact, we're hoping to drive that home in California too. Exactly, and I know that you wanted to tell us a little bit more about that. However, we're going to run out of time. Okay. <laughs> so what I really would like to do is focus on what you're doing and where people can go to sign a petition to yes. get this on the ballot. Yes. So Pat, okay. would you, you go Lisa. over that? Lisa, we had a general meeting last Friday and we had over 135 people there. And we uh, asked the, the volunteers in the local area to come and help us sign petitions. We did, we signed over 100 petitions. Okay to help support that issue and continue supporting it. We will be doing it until April to get it on the ballot, but the next two weekends, this coming Saturday, okay. uh, uh, February 12th, we're gonna be having uh, a drive up, a uh, petition drive from okay. 11 to two to make it easy for our village, our members and our village um, residents nice. to come and sign okay. it. We're also gonna have it next weekend on oh, Saturday, good. the 19th at Clubhouse 3. Okay. So two different locations. Okay. Now if. If they have any questions, they can contact you, Pat. Yes, and my name is yep, 714-697-0014. Yes. Now, that's this weekend and next weekend. Yes. I love it. Drive up, sign your name. Yep. What, what's this real quick? This, um, years ago, when Robert and I were working with the school choice, this is a scarf we wore. <laughs> And we went, when we walked precincts and walked around trying to get support, we, we, we have See, I, I think she should couple that with um, some blue, and now we've yep. got Rams. <laughs> when, right, oh, Rams. right. When, Good. When, when we did the, uh, the charter school conversion in Anaheim, the teachers' union actually uh, shut down the charter school conversion of mm -hmm. the worst mm -hmm. school in Anaheim, worst school in California, they think. So the parents created a parent union. Yes. And the lady okay. behind it yeah. came up with these scarves, so yeah, the, the, the parent union debated the teacher's union. Okay. It was a fascinating spectacle. The charter school conversion actually worked quite right. well. Right. Well, well, great. Well, congratulations on getting this going. Thank appreciate you, Lisa. it. And uh, I'm sure everyone here who have uh, grandchildren who yes. would like yes. to have the choice. So thank yes. you so much. Yes. Thank you, Lisa. You're welcome. Bye -bye. Thank you, Lisa. And remember, if you want more information, you can always contact Pat Mycone at 714-697-0014 and make your voice heard. We'll be right back. Silver and gold. Consider it sold. 
The Jewelry Box Estate Buyers will buy your jewelry, fine timepieces, flatware, and more. With metals at an all-time high, now is the time to sell. If you need to sell, refurbish, or appraise jewelry and watches, the experts at the Jewelry Box Estate Buyers are here to help. Come and visit us at our new location. At the Jewelry Box, it's about trust. Welcome back. As I mentioned, we have Robert Mycone here, who is here on behalf of the Laguna Woods Bridge Club. Well, Robert, as always, welcome to the show. Well, thank you, Lisa. We have a big event coming up this weekend, and we appreciate the opportunity to share that information with all the folks in Laguna Woods who want to play bridge. That's right, and I know uh, we squeezed you in. We wanted to make sure you guys got this out because it's been two years since it you've has. actually had an event. It is. The last time we were able to run our big sectional annual sectional tournament, we call it a sectional tournament, I'll get into that later for bridge players, was two years ago. And we had 205 tables, which if you multiply that by four is 820 people. Wow. That makes it a pretty good, now that was over two days, but uh, still we almost exceeded the limits of Clubhouse 7 to be able to handle <laughs> that many people. Very popular event. Right. And since things have been, you know, slowed down because of the COVID thing and, and the masks and all that sort of stuff. Uh, we're having our grand uh, tournament reopening this Saturday and Sunday, February 12th, 13th. Well, I love it. And we've got some information on the screen for everybody. Now it is, they call it the Valentine's sectional silver points. So what does that mean? Yeah, what's a, what's a sectional? Well, there's a club game that everybody's pretty much familiar with, the club game where you can go to the club every day and play with your friends and uh, entertain yourself, get a little mental challenge. Mm -hmm. uh, but you can't become a life master just by playing in the club. You gotta right. up your game. You have to earn 50 silver points uh, in order to become a life master. It takes 500 points altogether in your lifetime to become a life master. Okay. So it takes 50 silver points to get there and the only place to get silver points is at a sectional tournament. I see. There are also regional tournaments with gold points and national and all that, but to become a, a life master, you have to have only silver and gold. And wow. most people have to travel far and wide to San Diego, to Ventura, to, to play in, in Palm Springs. There was a sectional event, but we have our, every, our annual sectional event, what's that word? Sectional tournament. <laughs> Yeah. Say that again. Say annual, annual sectional. Annual sectional tournament. <laughs> say that fast three times. Yeah, really. Say it fast three times. Well, yeah. it looks great. And yeah. I like the fact that you've got Marjorie there. Yeah. Marjorie's is a tournament manager. Mm -hmm. She's a grand life mar uh, master. Incredibly experienced at bridge. She knows the game. She knows the drill. She knows the rules. And she knows how to help players. Right. Yep. Now, now, should somebody call her if they have any questions about it? Um, I don't think that's necessary. I think that the, every, all our staff will be there at 9 a.m. on Saturday morning at Clubhouse 7. So okay. anybody that wants to play, we have a partnership desk, which is headed up by Cookie Cooperman. Okay. And uh, we're sponsoring it. The Laguna Woods Bridge Club is. So Marjorie's okay. a tournament manager. Cookie will be arranging partnerships. Okay. And this board of the directors of the Bridge Club will be there to help anybody uh, look for where the coffee machine is or the bathrooms or any of that sort of stuff. Is there any cost? Uh, the, the, well, there is a charge for the tournament. Yeah, okay. it's on the flyer. You always charge for a tournament. Okay. And uh, candidly, it's a bit more than the three dollars that everybody pays every day for a club game. But mm -hmm. a tournament is a goal-oriented thing. You don't play in it unless you want to win points, unless you have a goal in mind to become a life master. Okay. And many, many people here in Laguna Woods. There's hundreds of life masters right here in Laguna Woods. Right. Yep. Yeah, so. I know. We've interviewed quite a few of them. Yes. Now, now what about yourself? Are you, are you a life master yet? Yes, many times over. Oh, oh yes, really? Well, there's gradations of life master. A life gotcha. master needs 500 points. Right. And then there's a silver life master and a gold life master. And uh, my next goal is emerald life master, which wow. is yeah, 7,500 points. But oh my. Marjorie Michelin has 20,000, so i got a long <laughs> way to go to catch her level of achievement. Yeah, yeah. And, she, and she's very knowledgeable. We've had her on before and, and it's great and I'm glad that she's going to be there as well and I know that she's going to be doing like a presentation at around 145 that day yeah the we, sh we do a lecture in between sessions so the okay. session starts at 10 a.m. you play for about three hours maybe a little bit longer then you we have lunch being provided somehow you can go out okay. to lunch we have some time uh, and then they come back if they come back early they'll get Marjorie's lecture and the coffee's always free and she's very entertaining Excellent. and then before we start the afternoon section session what? 
Love it. And then on Sunday, there's a Swiss team game. A Swiss team game is, is not a partnership game in particular. It's a team of four. Mm. So if you and I were partners, we would sit north-south, and then our partners would sit east-west at the table next door, oh. and they would play the same hands east-west that we play north-south. So we get to compare scores on a team of four. Okay. Very popular event. Anybody who's never played in it, come on out. Learn about imps. Learn about team games on Sunday. That also starts at 10. Excellent. Well, I love the information. Hopefully, you'll get lots of people so you guys can continue on you getting your We points. We are very hopeful that with the mask mandates kind of slipping away and people getting less fearful of the Omicron right. variant, that this whole thing will go into the dustbin of history and then people will mm -hmm. come back to the Bridge Club. We're open. We've been open for a long time. We're open for them. And we just need them to come back and uh, pursue the enjoyment. And if anyone wants information, this flyer is located on your website. Lagunabridge.com. Lagunabridge.com. Uh, a big, powerful website. It's got everything on there. Just go to Lagunabridge.com. And if you, you can also sign up for the newsletter. We write a newsletter every week called The Blast. Okay. And it goes out every Monday, Sunday or Monday sometimes. Mm -hmm. And it gives you all the news of the week. So if you think, Perfect. I think I want to play next week in this game, it'll tell you all about what the options are there. Perfect. Well, thank you so much for the information. Good luck. My pleasure. Thanks for the opportunity, Lisa. You're welcome. All right. And remember, if you want more information about the Bridge Club, you can always go to their website on your screen. We'll be right back. Laguna Nagel Hyundai used car sales event is going on now. Save now on over 250 used cars, trucks, and SUVs in stock. All makes, all models. Old price from $20,000 or less. Plus, we'll buy your current car, paid for or not, including lease buyouts with top dollar paid on the spot. Shop online anytime at LagunaNagelHyundai.com at the 5 Freeway at Avery Parkway. I was battling four different kinds of cancer, all in stage four. Although I was determined to fight, I had also put my affairs in order. But my team at Hogue refused to give up and enrolled me in a phase one clinical trial. This changed everything. Hogue Family Cancer Institute has the largest phase one clinical trial program in Orange County and ranks in the top 10% of cancer programs nationwide. Deb became one of only 12 people in the world with advanced lung cancer to receive this leading edge cancer therapy, and it saved her life. Hogue is leading the way in some of the most advanced personalized medicine in cancer with molecular imaging and therapy, immunotherapy, and a multitude of other patient-driven clinical research trials. My cancer care was a life or death decision, and I chose Hogue. Now more than ever, your healthcare choices matter. Choose Hogue. Just a reminder that tomorrow is the special meeting that we're going to be having right here on Village Television. It's called the Special Corporate Members Virtual Meeting. Now, it will be live right here on Village Television, and you can see it uh, at 9.30 this morning, in the morning. And then uh, we will have replays on the 22nd and 24th, and we'll keep you apprised of those. All right, now, also, Monday, as I mentioned, is Valentine's Day. So if you would like to treat your suite to a fun Valentine's Day dinner dance, it's going to be held at Clubhouse 5, and it's $44.00. Doors open at 5 p.m. Dinner and a GRF no host bar is at 5.30. Entertainment by Close Harmony at 6.30 p.m. And it is catered by Martinez. And this is put on by Recreation. So if you would like more information, please call 949-597-4382. Or you can email them at recreation at vmsinc.org. Now, another Valentine's uh, event not on Valentine's Day, but will be on February 17th called the I Am Me First Love. 
And that is going to be at Clubhouse 5. That's put on by the Theater Guild. And doors open at 6.30. It is free for Theater Guild members. However, $5 for guests. And if you would like to go to this, uh, it's best to get all the details at theaterguildlw.com. So lots of fun stuff. Also, um, the con uh, not Concerned Citizens, the Christian Women's Club is having an event, and it's a brunch. And it is called Love is in the Air Buffet Luncheon. That'll be on the 15th from 11.30 to 1.30 in Clubhouse One. They are going to have the new Harmonies performing. And they have a guest speaker, David Hughes. And uh, he's got, he's going to talk about gift of life and unexpected places. Reservations are required, $20. Please text or call Chris Ramirez, 949-246-1053. All right, let's take a look at our weather. As I mentioned, it's going to be quite warm today and tomorrow. Uh, we did have a bit of wind last night, which was interesting, although it's nice and calm today. So no wind is really expected today or tonight. Take a look at these temperatures. Today, 86.62. Tomorrow, 88.55. Cooling down Saturday, 80.54. Then 80.57 for Sunday and Monday, 73.54. Have a great day in the village. We'll be back here again tomorrow at 9 a.m. So go ahead and grab your coffee tomorrow morning and join us. We'll have some additional guests I think you'll enjoy. Have a great day. We'll see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye. What's easier than blowing out 65 candles? Choosing an Alignment Medicare health plan that's tailored specifically to you. Need access to 24-7 telehealth and concierge services? You got it. Members also receive an Alignment Health Plan Black Card with a monthly allowance and rewards for engaging with your health. At Alignment Health Plan, we don't think of these things as extras, just things you deserve. Save your wish for something that isn't healthcare related. Call or visit our website today to enroll in an Alignment Health Plan. How is life feeling these days? Even if you're active, those little aches and pains can be exhausting. Now there's a new way to experience an ancient healing therapy right in the comfort of your home. Introducing the JNH Lifestyles Infrared Sauna, a beautifully crafted sauna with proven benefits of immune boosting, pain relief, and relaxation. And there are one and two person models to fit the tightest of spaces, bringing the warmth of infrared sauna therapy to you. Expert installation is available in your area. Just give us a call or visit our website today. Are you undergoing infusion therapy? You now have a choice. Infusion for Health is a specialty infusion center that expertly cares for patients with chronic conditions. Our brand new facility in Laguna Hills takes patient care to the next level. Relax in your private suite with refreshments and on-demand entertainment. We offer seven convenient locations. We accept Medicare, PPO, and HMO. Call today to get started.